Welcome guys to another video and I'm sitting here playing Minecraft and I haven't done this in four days. AK, I'm gonna be terrible. Yeah, I, I do not have any sort of way to remember any sort of skill I used to have in any games I play. That also come that also translates over to college. When I learn something, I learn it then, and then I randomly remember how to do it at some point, but not during exams. Alright, that is basically my entire education process throughout the years. I remember something sometimes, except when I need it in school, alright? We're getting double rushed. This is gonna be terrible. Anyways, we're gonna actually talk about school today because I something something came up today during like our teacher student conference called what you like. Why did I make a barrier there? Why do you make a barrier there? Goodbye. Anyways, basically we had a talk today with the teachers and, and they're basically telling us a bunch of new rules at the school and I'm sitting like Oh, hell, I can't stand for this. A bunch of rules. Listen, I am okay with rules, alright? But these rules were... These rules were not okay. Okay, listen, I joke about a lot of stuff, including calling people short and calling them a lot of things. I Listen, I, I'm not... Nothing terrible. I basically make jokes about being, people being short, and I make a lot of jokes with my friends about them, and that's basically my entire way of making friends. Okay, dude, one of my best friends in college at the moment... It's a guy that my teacher told, told hey, this is a new student, uh, can you like hang out with him today because he doesn't seem like he wants to talk to people. The way I made friends with him was I legit walked over to him, sat down next to him and was like, hey, well the teachers think you're antisocial and well they seem to be correct, so yeah, sup. That's, that's the start of our entire conversation and we're still friends to this day. Sure, it's only been two years, but still, I would say that's pretty good for my, for my standards, okay? Oh, hello there. Yeah. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What the hell? What's that? Anyways, but yeah, that it's my entire way of making friends, alright? I, I Listen, if that goes away, I have nothing, alright? I have nothing. If if I can't make fun of people, I, I, I will legit... Listen, I talked to some girls after class about the, the, the entire thing, and they were like, you would be so boring. And I was like, ah, ah, well crap. You know, at least I knew the girls thought I was funny at some point, you know? <laughs> at least at some point, it was like, hmm, this guy's actually not that boring. But if this, go if I can't make jokes about people, that can go away. That that all can go away, alright? It, it probably has already done that, actually. Never mind. But yeah, it, it is not looking well on my funny scale. Oh, get out of my game. Bye-bye. Am I gonna rush? I'm not gonna rush. Fantastic. Anyways. But yeah, so that, that's like the news currently in college, right? We got a bunch of new rules. Which, the rules are very unclear, right? Because you cannot discriminate anyone for anything. Like, if I, I can make jokes with my friends, right? And you, the thing that can happen is you, you can actually get, like, reported to, like, the school or, like, cops. I, I'm not sure. It's called something. But if they can do that to you, if they, like, catch you discriminating anything. But here's also a funny thing. I cannot make fun of someone's shortness, but they can make fun of me for being tall. And I don't see that, I, th I think that's just the same thing, right? It, me calling someone short is it, not typically bad. Sure, when I said that in class, the, the girl in front of me was like, you know, that you're making fun of my height, you know. And I was like, it, you know, I had to respond to this. I was like, yeah, but I, I'm saying it because, you know, shortness, that's cute. And, and, and then I continued on my conversation with the teacher. And looking back at that, I regret everything I said in that sentence. Wow. Sometimes I really need to learn to shut up. Anyways. But yes, I, I sit there like a complain, me, a guy that I, uh, uh, listen, we made an example of it. So I, I said like, I sit next to a very short guy, okay, he's a very cool guy, but he's also very short, okay. He, he, let, let's just say this, he, he's related to dwarves, okay, he, he digs a lot of gold, I think, and never mind, he's actually broke. Anyways, you, you get the point, I was like, so if I call this guy short, because he is short. Will I get reported to the cops or right? someone is in the world and my bed is most likely gone? Goodbye, bed. But yes, yeah, so, so apparently, even though, though he doesn't get, like, mad about it, right? He doesn't get mad about it, but the teacher might get mad about it. So the guy that actually getting discriminated doesn't even have to be the guy that actually reports me. It can be the teacher, which also makes zero sense, because once again... Oh, hello, he's actually here. Why, why are you here? What, what are you doing here? You're killing me, that's what you're doing. I don't like that. Like, okay, can you let me eat a golden apple? I really would like to eat this. I, you're not, you're letting me eat this golden apple? Chill. Oh, well, you're not. Okay, well, screw you then. But yes, basically, the teacher can report me. And here's the thing even if he notices that my friend doesn't get mad about it, right? 
because we're friends and it's very noticeable that we're just messing around. You know what they said today? Basically, if anyone else in the close vicinity of us talking gets mad or sad or anything about it, for example, if there's another short person close by when I make fun of my friend's height, if they get offended, I can still get reported. I wasn't even talking to them, how does that make sense? I don't understand. <laughs> These rules are make making a mess in my head and I do not like it. I do not like the rules. And, and, and when I asked why we're putting these rules in the last year of this college even existing, they were like, oh yeah, we want people to feel safe. I don't feel safe. I can't make jokes anymore without fear of being like, fear of getting reported. Nah, I want to make jokes. <laughs> Listen, if I cannot get a girlfriend without being, being while being funny, I am screwed. If I'm not even be, be, will be able to make jokes, all right, it's over for me. I, I might as well just jump out the window now. Sure, it's I'm on the first floor right now, so it wouldn't really hurt that much if I jumped out the window. But you get the point, all right? My crap is mine. Ah, crap to left. Okay, never mind. Do you have another end pull? Yep, you do. You do. You do. You do. I should not be running this way. Cause he's gonna knock me off. Anyways, it's just a weird thing. I feel like, like one of my friends said, what, what about freedom of speech? Apparently that does not apply to school anymore. I don't understand. Like it's so, so many weird rules to stop potential people from getting mad. I, I think my entire college has forgot about the fact that everyone knows everyone and everyone likes it. There's not a single dispute anymore at my college, but somehow it, it seems like every single person that it has some sort of lead role forget about that because I, apparently people I, I don't even understand I, I listen it, it's at that point I do not understand why like yeah I don't but yeah it, it is it's what it is okay I have six arrows he's clearly hiding behind that pillar thing over there or maybe over there I actually don't know where's that he's maybe down there and eh, we'll just we'll just hope for the best here. Actually, it's Invis. Actually, in fact, he is Invis. Okay. Okay. Yep. There we go. Death will come to me. Okay. Well. Okay. Mhm. Mm this is going horrendous. Nice arrow. Hey, we got it. <laughs> but anyways, that is... Yeah. Anyways, it, it's basically that. I, I do not understand and I do not like the fact that I can no longer make jokes. <laughs> but in the end, I can understand. But, I mean, not really. They, they take away my, my right to make jokes about myself. That's also a thing. Even if I make jokes about myself... <laughs> If I make jokes about myself being ugly, that can still get reported because someone else might get offended by that. I make joke of myself and that still get reported? You're kidding me? That doesn't make sense, okay? Listen, I, I can understand me saying something. As long as you say something nowadays, apparently in school, and it offends anyone, you're getting signed up for that. You, you're, and the thing is, here's another fun thing. The, the, the basically, the punishment. The first punishment is, oh yeah, you're gonna sit in a room and you need to talk this out with the person that might have gotten offended. First of all, that's a very flawed system. If I, if I, you put me in a room with one of my friends that I potentially have offended, listen, first of all, the only friend that I would sit with in there with with if my is my best friend, I cannot even talk anymore. But yeah, the only person that I would sit in there with is my best friend because we make so much jokes about each other, it's not gonna work out. Okay, you know what's gonna happen in that meeting? We're gonna sit there and call each other idiots. In very much harsher terms that I will not say online. Anyways, it is not... The teacher did not think that one through. Anyways, it's just a weird time all around. But I also said that, what if... What if it's even not... What if no one got offended and you just thought so? And the teacher's like, trust me, we would know. What does that even mean? What do you mean you would know? That doesn't make sense at all. You would know. You don't even know... I don't know. They don't know much on my teachers. They're, they're, Dude, one of my teachers cancelled class today because he was feeling slightly sick. 
I mean, fair enough. I, yeah, fair enough. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know why I brought that up. Anyway, see y'all in another video. How are your school's rules? Because mine's are apparently dumb AF. Except the one about no phones in class. That kind of makes sense. But you get the point. It's just a stupid rule around. Don't offend each other. Yeah, no shit. But you decide what's offensive. If I make jokes about... No I, 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 I'm so upset. I, I'm upset. I'm upset. I'm upset. <laughs> Anyways. That's a funny thing. I... I you know what I did exactly? We and my friends sat in extra chat, right? I, the short guy left and me and my friends left in class. I was like, it's just me and him left. And our teacher. I was like, you know, if I say something fancy now, would that count as like, you know? And it, the teacher was yes. I was like, you know, I could just, if I walk outside, I could easily get like one of those reports on me. And it's like, yeah, I know. Just don't do it. I did it anyways. And he walked out on that. I was like, ah, are you guys actually... You guys actually doing this? I didn't get signed up for it, so I get to win on my side. Bye bye, have a good day. How's your school rules? Because mine are awesome. Awesome. Why would I say that? It's they suck. They're terrible. It's like it's like my parenting, anyways. No, wait, it's like the way I've been parenting. Pa parented. How, what the hell am I saying? Bye bye. Have a good one, and hope to see you in the next video. This is just a rant video. Bye bye.